everyone, it's Sandy with Mommy's Frugal Bangs and Bringing Mom's Home. And today I'm going to show you guys how to trim your own bangs at home. So um, I just wanted to say that I'm not a professional. I just do my own hair. I don't do anyone's hair professionally. I did go to school for nails. I did go to beauty school, but um, I didn't take any hair classes or anything like that. Um, I did learn some techniques from people who were taking hair classes. So I do know how to do my own hair, I do know how to do my own color, and I do know how to do um, like trims and perms and stuff like that. So let's just jump right in and I'll show you guys how you can do your own bangs. Basically the look that I'm going for is kind of like what Taylor Swift wears a lot. She has kind of like the straight across bangs, but I want them a little bit longer so I can kind of curl them under and I can also swoop them off to the side like this. So as you can see, my bangs are really super long. And I want, I kind of always have to brush them out of my face when I'm doing these videos, so it gets really annoying. Um, so I just want to be able to, you know, not have to style them or have to worry about them so much. Maybe style them a little bit, but not have to like swoop them out of my face all the time and, and have to worry about them because they are getting really annoying and you can see how long they are. But So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pull my hair all the way back. Um, also, what you want for this project is you want a comb with a point like this, like a rat tail comb, or you want a um, highlighter brush. You want a pair of scissors that are really sharp. I don't have my hair cutting scissors, but ideally you would want hair cutting scissors because they have a really sharp point. Um, so I can't find those, so I'm using those. And then just a regular brush. Um, this one is kind of it's kind of got really like close bristles so that's really good to, to pull your hair kind of tight and get all the tangles out um, so anyways let's just jump right in and I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back and what you kind of want to do is just like obviously I need to do a tutorial on my roots too I'll probably do one of those soon so you just want it to kind of all your bangs to fall out if you already have bangs this is gonna be easy if you don't already have bangs um, you probably, you just want to go around and like pull your bangs or pull little fine pieces of hair out. And what you can do is just kind of like, go like this, just to get like an even line. So they look nice and even. And also there's a technique that you can do. Um, if you don't like your forehead, like for example, I don't like my forehead. I feel like it's kind of squared off. What you can do is kind of, um, kind of pull it over or kind of just grab a little bit more hair and make bangs really close to that area. So ideally you would want to like line it up where your the end of your eyebrow is and just start about right there but I'm gonna go over just a little bit because I kind of want to cover up this area right here and I want to have bangs that fall um, to cover that kind of extra wide space so I just feel like my foreheads kind of wide and if you guys have that problem too then you can do this technique and it'll cover it up so when you put your hair back your bangs will just fall right over that and it won't even be that noticeable. So I'm just going to pull out a little more than I normally would. Now I'm not doing this perfectly. No one's actually going to see how this line and if it's perfect or not. It's not really going to matter. That's just kind of a guide for me. So once you pull all that out, you just want to pull your hair back. I'm just going to like put my hair in kind of like a bun or just like a knot on top. Okay, so you don't want to worry about this part. It's just, it's not going to look good for a while here. So if you do side swoop bangs, there's a technique that you need to use. Um, I, like I said, I want to be able to wear them down. So straight down as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to taper them off so that way they will be kind of short in the middle and then they'll be a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to split my hair in half, my bangs in half like that, and then I'm going to work on one side. 
So I'm going to come down about to where my finger touches my eyelash because I don't want them being too short and you really don't want to do this with um, with wet hair because wet hair will shrink and you don't want to have too short of bangs. So just kind of taper them down like that. And set this hair off to the side. And then do the same technique on the other side and try to make sure it's even. But this time you're going to, the easiest way to do it actually is go the opposite direction. So make sure you fill where your, where your eyelash and your your fingers meet. And I have to get closer to the camera so I can see what's going on. This is harder than I thought it would be looking at the camera rather than looking at what I'm doing here. So this is kind of challenging. Okay, so since I usually wear my hair like off the side, this piece is naturally wanting to go that way. So once I spray it with water or something, it's gonna look more natural. Um, but there you have it, that's what they look like. And if I go ahead and I, put, let me see how even they are. Let me just even them up just a tiny bit. There we go. So that way I can wear them down like that. Or I can brush them off to the side. And let me show you what it looks like when they come when my hair comes down like that. So that's what they look like. And I'll probably maybe style them with um, a little bit of hairspray or I'll use a curling iron. So that's... <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. Oh. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.